first point for the first uh, ice report of the year. Uh, the guys finally were able to get out yesterday and uh, and tiptoe around a little bit and we just kind of wanted to let you know what we found. I want to go through the ice report. I've actually brought my notes out here because I've got some other things that we want to cover as far as tournaments and the perch extravaganza and stuff like that. But um, first and foremost, I wanted to show you guys this. So on Sunday, we had about 35 mile an hour winds and it got down to negative four, negative five degrees. And I'm out a uh, couple hundred yards from shore right now, but this is what uh, formed out in front of the front of the resort here. So we got a little work to do once we're able to get out. We're gonna have to knock some of these down to be able to get the vehicles out. So that'll give us uh, something to do here the next few weeks. Um, what we kind of found when we got out past this you know we're finding um in close here there was about four or five inches but soon as we got out of our uh our little harbor here we were finding still two and a half three inches um things really smoothed out once we got out a little ways but it's still uh pretty thin ice uh, we had some real cool days there but uh unfortunately on the main lake here just not enough to uh, be able to do anything this weekend um you know probably come monday we'll venture out again see what we're able to do see if we're able to uh, get anything staked or anything going like that but i'll be sure to let you know uh come monday tuesday let you know what we find but as far as this weekend we won't be able to let any walkers out or anything yet um also liberty beach we will be running roads out of liberty beach this year and we did uh, go down and check the ice there kind of still finding the same same things they did have some of these but they uh, they weren't as big in front of liberty D beach we were finding anywhere from about three to four inches of ice so getting closer there unfortunately uh, these next few days next few, next week or so is going to be uh, warmer weather but still cooling off at night and we'll still be making and and i'll be on here uh letting you know what we find as uh, often as we go out so um keep in touch on on that and i'll uh, i'll let you know so I was just looking at some of the reservations and stuff like that. They're filling up very quick. The first weekend in January, we still have some uh, openings for some uh, skid houses. I'm assuming we'll be able to uh, go for that. So I'm not too worried about that as of right now. So if you do want to make reservations, that first week of January is looking good. The last week in January still got some openings. And the, uh, the second to last weekend in February, which would be, I believe, the 19th, um, there's some openings uh, quite a bit there yet as well. So if you're looking to get out uh, in a uh, rental house, give us a call here. You can also go online and book as well. Uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about was the tournaments. I know there's been a lot of confusion on what's going on this February for tournaments. Um, first and foremost, I want to talk about the United Heroes League tournament. It is happening on February 5th. This is the seventh year. This is going to be the best year by far. Um, we got great sponsorship um, from Ice Castle, and we do have an Ice Castle that we are giving away. It's it's ran a lot where where you um, you know you, you pay twenty bucks, you get in the tournament, you go out, fish, come back in for the drawing, like we do our other tournaments and have we how we've done them. We also have over twenty thousand dollars worth of prizes from Shields and Clam. So they've been uh, behind us now for uh, quite a few years on that, and they've been great to. Uh, to work with so Jay Lorick on that's been doing a great job getting prizes so I'm super excited this year for this tournament I think it's going to be fantastic Justin Morneau will be here along with uh, some other pro Minnesota pro um, athletes we will be doing a meet and greet that Saturday February 5th in the bar and get to meet them get their autograph that kind of thing so we're just looking forward to that that's going to be a ton of fun um, the other thing I wanted to touch on that tournament you do not need to be present um, to win um, and I will have the, uh, the email that you can go to right uh, on this link and buy tickets right online. So we're looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun this year. Also, the 19th of February, we have our great perch and pout hunt. That's a tournament that we do every year. You buy a button for 15 bucks um, and we have great prizes back on shore. Um, we do that every year. However, this year is a little different. It's the great perch and pout hunt. However, we're not able to keep pout this year. So it's uh, the great perch hunt. And uh, we'll be doing that the 19th. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. And now the extravaganza, as most of you guys already know, is not happening this year. 
However, we still are going to have something um, in its place this year as we get everything worked out and it comes back bigger and better next year. But this year we're going to uh, slip something in its place just to uh, have something going on and still get you guys up here enjoying the time, enjoying the last weekend of the, uh, the season. That is going to be the Perch Party. That is February 26th, the Perch Party. We're going to do it a lot like we always have done the tournaments. You pay 20 bucks, you get your button, you go out fish, you bring your perch back in at 2 o'clock, and then we'll have a uh, the prize giveaway again. I have secured two four-wheelers that we're going to give away for that. And I will let you know as the year goes on the prizes that I get for it. And that's the big reason that we had trouble with the extravaganza. Obviously, you guys know with the shipping and everything like that, it's hard to secure the prizes and make sure that uh, everything you know, it was in the same uh, form as it's been in the past. You guys get used to doing um, the extravaganza and seeing the prizes. We want to keep that, you know, the same and getting better every year. Well, we weren't able to guarantee that that would happen this year. So in its place is going to be the purge party, like I said. And as I get prizes for that, I'll let you know so you know um, kind of what to expect. But I did secure two four-wheelers already, so I'm anticipating it'll be a, uh, a good turnout. It'll be a lot of fun, and we are just super excited to get this season going. Obviously, a little slow, slow start. We got a lot of work here, but we'll be, uh, I can guarantee we'll be working our butt off to get you guys out here as soon as possible.